Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English news of Bing Phuc Radio Television Station and Newspaper. Following are the headlines for today. Bing Phuc holds seminar to link investors. Lopning leaders visit Cambodian districts on Khmer New Year. Bing Phuc reopen tourism during new normal. High tech industry experience learned from Ho Chi Minh City. Ministry adopt measure to boost sales of agricultural products. And now our details. The Bing Phuc Provincial Tourism and Investment Promotion Center has worked with the province's Young Business Association to hold a caravan program to promote trade and charity in Dongsai City. Sponsored by Fu An Group Real Estate Joint Stock Company, the seminar attracted the participation of more than a hundred entrepreneurs and businesses inside and outside of the province. Bing Phu currently has 13 industrial parks and economic zones, welcoming many large corporations and enterprises. The province holds significant potential and advantages to develop in a comprehensive, modern, rapid, and sustainable manner. Delegates at the seminar discussed investment opportunities in the province and other issues of mutual concern. The seminar was a meaningful gathering for entrepreneurs and businesses and was in line with the province policy of attracting investment, opening up cooperative opportunities between Bing Phuc and partners in the future. Leaders from Lok Ning District in Bing Phuc province organized a delegation to visit authorities, the army and people of Memot District in Tabong Kamun province and Sano District in Karachay province in Cambodia and the occasion of the Khmer traditional New Year, John Tanam Thamay. The delegation sent greetings to leaders of the government, the armed forces, and the people of Cambodia in general, and to those in Mehmood district and Sanwa district in particular, wishing them a happy and joyful Chantanam Thamay and hoping they soon repel COVID-19. Lok Ning District presented gifts to representatives of the two Cambodian districts. The visit expresses the solidarity between authorities and people in Lok Ning and its neighboring Cambodian districts. The Bing Phuc Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism has recently issued a notice on the reopening of tourism in a new normal. For international tourists, the department requires they have a negative test for SARS-CoV-2 and anyone with symptoms of infection must immediately notify health authorities at the body gate. In particular, travelers must have medical insurance or travel insurance that covers COVID-19 treatment with a minimum coverage of $10,000. For pandemic areas at levels 1 and 2, domestic tourism services are allowed to operate at 100% of capacity. For areas at level 3, only sightseeing activities at tourist attractions and indoor gatherings of less than 50 people are permitted. Tourist accommodation establishments can operate at 70% of capacity and passenger vehicles can fill 70% of their seats. Level 4 areas are only allowed to organize sightseeing activities at tourist attractions, while indoor gatherings and tour groups are permitted but total travelers must not exceed 25. Tourist accommodation establishments can operate at no more than 50% of capacity, while passengers' vehicles cannot fill more than 50% of their seats. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam's largest economic hub, has been paying attention to developing the high-tech industry so as to bring into full play opportunities brought about by the Fourth Industrial Revolution. Over the past term, many domestic and foreign invested companies in Ho Chi Minh City have established advanced production models and applied high-tech techniques. The forming modern production lines is in dependence on imported components, admitting the demand for high-tech products in the country for export. The Saigon Heights Park currently has 165 valid investment projects, totaling 8.6 billion US dollars. 
in which many major groups such as Samsung and Intel have enjoyed effective business and investment and plan to expand their production scale. To attract major investors, the city is promoting the establishment of a 300-hectare high-tech supporting industrial park to create an ecosystem for high-tech supporting industries. It is best to draw around $3 billion US dollars in the over 50 high-tech projects in the 2021 and 2025 period. The Ministry of Industry and Trade is carrying out a number of measures to assist farmers in selling their product. According to the Agency of Foreign Trade and the Ministry of Industry and Trade, from produce export turnover reached 7.2 billion US dollars in the first three months of this year, up 19% compared to 2011. However, difficulties remain in the sale of some groups of commodities and at some specific times. To deal with the problem, the ministry has compiled a drop plan on shifting from unofficial and small scale shipments to export through official channels. The ministry also established a steering committee led by the Minister of Industry and Trade to solve the congestion of agricultural products at border gates. In addition, the ministry worked closely with the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development to promote negotiations with China to increase the number of fruits exported via official channels in the future. The ministry also collaborated with the Ministry of Transport to get businesses to change delivery methods and take advantage of other forms of transport to avoid congestion at border gates. The export of aquatic products recalled strong growth last month, although the Russia and Ukraine crisis had disrupted shipment to European countries, according to the Vietnam Association of Seafood Exporter and Producer. In March, Vietnam exported 920 million US dollars worth of aquatic products, a year year increase of 25%, FASEP reported. This was attributed to the impressive recovery of Chaffee's exports, which expanded 88% to hit 646 million US dollars during the period, on the account of surging demand from major markets, such as the US, China, and the EU. The fish has again become a key export item, accounting for 27% of the total aquatic exports, the association said. Meanwhile, Stream contributed a share of 37% in March, earning more than 345 million US dollars in turnover. Vietnam's aquatic exports are expected to pick up 25% to 934 million dollars in April. Vietnamese Airlines has seen a surge of around 440% in international passengers, but a decline in domestic passengers in the fourth quarter of 2022, according to the Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam. In a report sent to the Ministry of Transport, the Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam said Vietnamese Airlines alone has transported an estimated 141,600 international passengers and 38,000 tons of international cargo in the first quarter, respectively soaring around 441% and 114% year-on-year. Airports nationwide handled 321,000 international passengers and 292,000 tons of international cargo during the period, up 176% and 21% respectively. Meanwhile, the carrier served about 6.5 million domestic passengers and 48,400 tons of domestic cargo, down 12.5% and 8.8% from a year earlier. The authority said as of March, there are 23 foreign and Vietnamese allies operating air routes between Vietnam and 20 countries and territories. That's all for today on Bình Phước Radio Television Station and Newspaper News. Once again, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.